Hey friends, so yesterday in our Zoom meeting, we started talking about some research that we were going to do. So we're going to start our research projects. And the first thing that we need to do when we're researching something is we need to pick a topic because there are lots of things that might be interesting to us and lots of things that we might want to learn more about. But the best research focuses or talks about only one thing. So we're going to be doing our research on insects or bugs. And I'm going to be working on a research project right along with you. So the first thing that I need to do when I am wanting to do research is I need to pick my topic. I need to pick which insect I want to learn about. So I'm going to log on to pebblego.com because that's going to help me pick my research topic. So you are going to sign in to PebbleGo and you have the login information for PebbleGo on the Seesaw activity. So don't worry about that. You can look on Seesaw to get that login. And if you need help, you can send me a message in Seesaw. But here's what we're going to do to get to our insects. So we're going to click on animals and then we're going to click on Insects and spiders. Insects and spiders. See, and if you need it to read it to you, it will. And it's the picture of the grasshopper. I'm going to click it. I'm going to click on insects. And then you may choose any of these insects to research. So you can scroll through and you can find an insect or bug that you're already interested in learning about. Maybe an insect or bug that you have seen on your walks outside maybe one that looks really cool. So you, you are going to scroll through all of the insects. And I know that on Zoom, some of you mentioned that you're interested in learning about butterflies. Well, there are two different kinds of butterflies on Pebble Go that you can decide to learn about. You can learn about monarch butterflies or you can learn about painted lady butterflies. So you're just going to scroll through and look at the pictures. You don't need to click on any of the articles yet. You can just pick which insect you think is interesting. So I know that some of you were interested in silkworms yesterday. Some of you talked about wasps or moths or ladybugs. So you are going to pick your topic and then you are going to write your topic on Seesaw so that I know what insect you are researching because that will help me find some resources like some books or some articles or some videos that will help you with your research. So I am going to research honeybees. Honeybees that I'm interested in learning about. But I'm not even going to read my Pebble Go yet because I'm not ready to start learning about bees. The first thing that I need to do is I need to figure out some questions that I have about honeybees. So when we do research, we are answering questions about a topic. And so I'm really interested in honeybees, but what do I want to learn about them? Well, hmm. I am really interested in learning about what they eat. So I'm going to write what do, I'm going to flip my camera so that you can read it, read along with me. There we go. What do bees eat? That's one question I want to know. What's another question that you have about honeybees? Well, I know that honeybees make honey because they're called honeybees. How do they make honey? How do honeybees make Honey. And you know, I'm a little afraid of insects that fly. So I've never really gotten that close to a bee before. So I'm also interested in what does a honeybee's body look like? I'm going to take this down so that you can see my question. What does Honeybees body look like. 
So those are my three questions that I really want to learn about honeybees. So you need to pick two or three questions that you have about the insect that you choose. If you don't know a lot about your insect, you can ask about where it lives. You can ask about what it looks like. You can ask about whether or not it helps humans in any way or helps plants or helps, or helps other animals. So I want you today to pick your research topic and I want you to think of two or three questions that you have about your insect, okay? We are not doing any research yet. We are deciding what it is that we want to learn about this animal. So come to our Zoom meeting tomorrow morning and make sure that you know which insect you want to learn about and you have your questions about that insect, okay friends? So I have an activity up on Seesaw for you and I want you to tell me the name of the insect that you chose and the questions that you have because just like I put together some resources to help me learn about honeybees, I'm going to put together some resources to help you research your insect. And you're also going to get to find some information on your own. And you are going to get to create a video or a book or a slideshow or a seesaw activity. However you decide to teach us about your insect, you're going to get to do that with all of the information that you learn. All right, friends, I am so excited to see which insects you are interested in learning more about. Have a great day.